Hey hey everyone, Crawlerpix here, and welcome back to Alice in Wonderland, a 60 by 90 square diamond painting. And here we go. I am so glad to be working on this final column, this last column. It feels so good to finally meet up with where I had started, you know, just back at episode one, because I started on the right side and then I decided to switch, but it has been slowly irking me the whole time, but it's good to finally connect the two sides and make it more complete. It was a lot more uh, disconcerting than I thought it would be. So I'm not sure if I do it again or if I'll just suffer. But I, I feel like I have learned a lot about how I lay down square diamonds with Alice. I found that I do indeed like going left to right with square diamonds. I uh, went from top to bottom on this one, but I think it might actually be better to go bottom to top. I think for my workspace, it would also help me greatly because I do need to let it hang off the table a little bit.
I keep looking at these two black pixels next to Alice's eye and I have no idea what it's supposed to represent. Is it the shadow of her ear or is it the headband? I have no idea. And once I notice it, I just can't unnotice it. So I see it every single time and I'm just like, what is it? And I have this incredible urge to remove those two blocks, those two drills, just to check that I have actually laid down the correct color. I should probably check, you know, the original image just to see what it is. Maybe something just kind of got lost in the translation of it, but man, it's just, it just seems quite random. So we'll see. I do have one more AliExpress tip. If you find a diamond painting that you really, really want, like gotta have it, go ahead and buy it. Don't add it to your wish list, add it to your cart and pay for it. <laughs> I added to my cart a couple of full drill rhinestone diamond paintings and they're from the same store and they were incredible and I was like oh I'll buy them later but you know put them into my wish list so I wouldn't forget about them went to check on them and they're dead links there and then I went to the store page couldn't find them so then I finally messaged the store and I was like hey do you still have this I took a screenshot of what was on my wish list Asked them if they had it and they're like, no, nah, the company's decided to stop making them. Devastation! It was a very sad moment. So, yeah, if there's something you want, go ahead and get it because it might not be there when you finally decide it's time. So, <laughs> lesson learned. I don't know why I assumed that it would always be available because that's kind of silly. But yes, I have learned my lesson again the hard way. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs>
I started making more use of the alarms app on my phone because I find when I'm diamond painting or actually any kind of crafting, I get lost into it and don't realize how much time has gone by. And since it's winter here and I am, I get cold really easily, I find it best to get up and move around quite frequently. Like even if I just take a loop around the house, something to get up and get the blood flowing again so I'm not so cold all the time. And I implemented this with my mom when she was diamond painting because she, I think the longest she went was maybe four hours without getting up or anything. And I was like, oh, mom, that's probably not a good idea. So I set an alarm and every hour I'd say, at least, you know, stand up, take a few steps, wave your arms around. And so that seemed to help her. And now I realize, oh yeah, I should have been doing that for myself as well. So I've been doing that the past couple of weeks and yeah, I feel better for it. Just take a few seconds. I know it's hard to take those few seconds away from diamond painting, but you'll just, you'll thank your body. Your body will thank you for it. So just take those few seconds, 30 seconds, just, you know, take some steps, walk around, have something to drink. That is also very important. And yeah. I can't believe how helpful that has been for me. Already noticed a big difference. Okay, I am going to end it here. And here's the lovely uh, full shot of Alice. And yeah, I can't believe it. Maybe we just one more episode, guys. Who knows? One or two more. It, there's not much left to do, as you can see here. I am so excited. But yes, I do hope that you have enjoyed. This journey is coming to an end. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also click on the bell icon so that you're notified for um, any new videos and progress updates. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!